I've played pickleball where there's a court divider so that when somebody knocks it off court, it doesn't go into the other one and have to say, ball on and stop play. But in my social area, I needed a cheap, inexpensive one like this, which I built, and you can too. It disassembles quickly and easily into a very small area. So the net's only about 18 or 20 inches high at the center, but the vast majority of all you're going to have going into the foot are people doing a bad dink. Just falling into and not going out into the right place. So what it does is if somebody hits the ball wrong, it just prevents the ball from rolling into the other court. Any low ball will get caught. Now it's not perfect. Take to a high bouncer. It might just bounce over. Got the wind against me, so maybe not today. But that's pretty much what it does. You can make your own with just a few simple parts. I had some scrap wood lying around. The wood was two and a quarter inches square. You need at least that much depth to hold the poles. And you'll also need a large drill bit, in my case, seven eighths inch, to hold the PVC pipe. PVC pipe you can per and two nets, which I purchased from Amazon very cheaply. Now you'll need the PVC pipe, which you can get from any hardware store and just cut to length. It's very simple. A couple screws and some hooks and you'll be all set. To create the base, I had to chisel out half the depth and then use my circular saw adjusted to that depth. Luckily, it's easily to adjust the base, so it's about half the depth, in my case, one and a quarter inches. After cut, the two pieces can be joined together in a cross piece like this and you can stick the post in the middle. Alternatively, you can cross over two, two by four pieces and just cut it so that they're on either side of the base like this shows right here. Finally, the last thing is a few nails you put at the end which will hold down the tubing later on as we assemble the net. Okay, so we need to cut our 10 foot pipe in half, so we just mark it at five feet. You can see I put it in a vise on one end to hold it so it doesn't rotate while I'm doing that. I have a simple circular saw. After marking it, we now have two five foot pipes. Use a center punch to hold make a hole and then drill out the hole in a small depth to then be able to easily insert the hooks which will hold the net. For the net you loop over the cord so it's easy to add to the hook. So I normally keep the nets with me rather than letting people play with them. So the first part of setup is grabbing a couple of pickleball stands and carrying them over. So we put one stand in the center, and we'll put the other stand far apart to drop off the nets. sides. Make sure the net is untangled. So in this case we have to flip it once until the, the white is on top. Then we attach this side of the net to the same loop. Ah, brushing. And the corner on its bottom hook, and same thing with the other net, we attach it, once 
side of it. We get its hook, its loop, and its corner. And then we go grab more parts. In this case, I have a post and a weight to put on the near side. Always have the nail facing towards where the net's going. Stretch out the net again. We uh, flip it again so it's all untangled. We attach. Huh. And the bottom. And because we have a weight now, we can stretch this a little bit and stick the weight on it. Last step. Six five foot tubes. We put three on each side. We put the one inch on the outsides and the half, or sorry, the three quarter inch on the outsides and the half inch on the insides. So I drop off. A couple of those. And I take the other set over to the other end. Flowing this right now, but once we have the weight on the other end, we can stretch this a lot. And once it's stretched out, put the weight on it. Now, zoom up over here, and you'll see the way we attach these is we slip it in the end away from the post first into this velcro here, and then we slip it into the velcro that's near and we slip it over the nail. So that's one end. The middle piece, you could do two Velcros. Right now I'm lazy. I just have one Velcro. So we just, there's not really any tension in the middle. It's just enough to keep the ball from rolling. And as before, we take this one, we put it in the Velcro away from the post. This Velcro is a little tighter. And then we slip it with Velcro near the post. And over the net. And finally we do the same thing on the other net. Away from the post, near the post, over the nail, through the middle. And we might just stretch this a little bit more now that we have the weight on the other side. So we see if we can stretch it a little bit more. The more you stretch it, the higher it gets, which is good. And we use post the poles to weigh down the net and we use the nails at the end to really stretch the net down. And now you can see all the tubes are on the bottom. Okay, disassembly is even, even faster. You can do it in a couple minutes, especially with two people. It's mostly about tearing the parts back to the corner. You can just take out the tubes. The tubes removed, you can just undo the net. You notice that I don't have to be at all fancy with the net. It's just roll it up. And uh, you don't have to do the tubes first, you can do them second. So we just gather up the net, stick it back in its bag. Etc. And then gather up our weight and our post and our poles. Carry them back. And 
If you have a second person, they can carry the rest of the stuff, and you should be done by now. The nets and poles are all I had to buy, but you may also need these parts which I had laying around. Velcro strips, some brass hooks, and a few wood screws to connect the boards that are crossed over.